400,000 tons of rock had to be removed for this magnificent structure to take the shape we see today. This staggering figure will be explained shortly. Built 1,200 years ago, the Kalasa Temple in Ellora, India, is an architectural marvel carved out of the world's largest monolithic rock buried in the ground. If you think that our current civilization stands at the pinnacle of technology, surpassing much of the past, you may be mistaken. By the end of this video, you might agree with me that this temple was constructed by an incredibly advanced civilization. So, what makes the ancient Colossa Temple so special? Impressive Statistics With a monolithic rock submerged in the ground, how did ancient people carve it to create a temple in just 18 years? The Colossa Temple follows the Dravidian architectural style with intricately carved details. The temple is approximately three stories high, with a U-shaped courtyard and a Gapiram tower at the entrance. In front of the main shrine is the statue of Nandi, the sacred bull of Lord Shiva. The colossal carvings on the rock depict Hindu deities. Though there are no textual records, historians and scholars believe that Krishna won the first ruler of the Rashtrakuta Empire, who reigned from around 756 to 774, played a key role in creating this masterpiece. It bewilders people how this temple, carved from a single monolithic rock with complex patterns, was achieved. This raises the question of what technology was used to build something that even in the 21st century remains inexplicable. This temple is one of the greatest wonders in the world, with a rock cut from the mountaintop to create the structure you see. In all other temples and caves, even in Ellora and the rest of the world, rocks are cut from the front and intricately carved. However, the technique used to build the Colossa Temple is described as top-down excavation. To understand this unique stone cutting technique, observe this 30 meter high column, making a person standing next to it look tiny Normally, creating a massive stone column would take years of precise carving on a large rock. But this column is sculpted by removing all the layers of rock around it. Can you imagine the amount of rock that needed to be demolished to create this column? Even historians and archaeologists are perplexed by the information found. They confirm that over 400,000 tons of rock had to be removed a laborious task spanning centuries for humans. There are no records of such a peculiar task, but information suggests it was completed in just over 18 years. Let's do a simple calculation to see if historians could be correct. Assuming people worked continuously without breaks for 18 years, 12 hours a day with no rest, focusing only on removal. Without considering time for intricate carvings, complex technical designs, or planning, just focusing on removal. If 400,000 tons of rock were removed in 18 years, it would mean removing 22,222 tons of rock per year, equivalent to 60 tons per day or 5 tons per hour. That's just considering the time to remove the rock. We haven't even accounted for the time to carve the statues and patterns on the temple walls. Let's take a closer look at the patterns on the walls. Do you think, in that amount of time, ancient people could accomplish such a substantial amount of work with rudimentary tools like hammers and chisels? Even with modern technology and advanced machinery available today, this seems truly absurd. Now, forget about creating an extraordinary structure like Colossa. Can humans destroy this robust temple? In fact, Aurangzeb, a Muslim ruler, hired 1,000 workers to demolish Colossa. In 1682, he ordered the temple to be destroyed, erasing all traces of it. Records show that 1,000 people worked for three years, causing negligible damage. Only a few structures and statues were deformed. So, completely destroying the Colossa temple was impossible. Aurangzeb eventually abandoned this futile task. Note that this destruction attempt is similar to another mysterious structure, 
the Menkor Pyramid, the third largest on the Giza Plateau. At that time, a Muslim ruler named Al-Aziz Uthman wanted all the pyramids destroyed, starting with the Menkor Pyramid. After many years of effort, he could only create a small dent in the ancient structure before giving up on his intention. Is it possible that all these indestructible structures worldwide were created with more advanced modern technology than we have now? And we simply cannot know for sure. In fact, archaeologists agree that the Colossa Temple was created before any other temple in the Alora Cave Complex. It may have been built centuries before people started carving nearby temples. Is this why its architecture, design, and size are superior and much larger than other temples? If it was built by humans and following the logic of progress, stone cutting techniques and designs would only get better over time. However, Colossa is the oldest and largest temple carved with exquisite perfection in technique. Unlike other temples in the complex, Colossa is the only one visible from above. Out of 34 adjacent temples, Colossa stands out and is easily visible when flying over. Is this a random coincidence, or was it designed for people to see from above, similar to the Nazca lines in Peru? Even on Google Earth, the aerial view of the Colossa temple clearly shows an X mark. It resembles a circular design with for lion figures. It might have been intentionally built as a signal for someone who could recognize it from a high position, or because this structure was created using laser beams cutting from above, making it visible from a higher vantage point. In addition to Colossus' structure, there are stone bridges connecting towers, rainwater harvesting systems, drainage systems, underground pathways, secret chambers, complex staircases connecting various areas all meticulously planned before they began carving on the rock. Not only does the temple hold architectural value, but Colossa also preserves thousands of sculptures, drawings, and writings reflecting the richness of art and philosophy of ancient Indian civilization. Among them are carved reliefs narrating the epic Ramayana. By this point, do you still believe that the Colossa temple was carved using rudimentary tools by ancient people with limited technology. I hope we can all agree that this temple was constructed by a far more advanced civilization, whether it originated from Earth or not. The Colossa Temple stands not only as a remarkable testament to ancient craftsmanship and architectural ingenuity, but also as a profound mystery waiting to be unraveled. As researchers continue to explore and study this extraordinary structure, the enigmatic aura of Colossa Temple persists, inviting us to marvel at the unknown facets of our rich historical and cultural tapestry. Your opinions are valuable, whether you agree with me or not, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. Goodbye and see you next time.